Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radku Tarot and in this whole video you are going to hear the forecast for your star sign uh, for the week 21st to 27th of September 2020. So as always, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can go to my website which is listed down below in this video and uh, there at the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And if you are into tarot and you want to learn tarot from we, uh, from me, I'm sorry, uh, you like the way I, uh, I read cards, there are eight tarot classes that I'm offering as well and you can find uh, all about them going under the tarot classes section at the website uh, as well. My recommendation is to take the major arcana first and when you become comfortable with it, then go for the minors. So that being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising weekly general tarot reading uh, for the upcoming week. And uh, the first thing that we're going to have to look into, guys, for you, that is uh, that is going to be your a uh, love and relationship life. So <clears throat> let me just shuffle the cards, and we're going to jump right into it. So what you can expect from that reading is that uh, the reading is going to show the energies and the potential that you can unfold here. But by all means, if you think that you know, something else suits you better, just go and do it. So the first one that we do have, that is going to be uh, the world followed by the emperor. Uh, moving next, we do have the two of swords and the last one uh, that we do have, that will be the knights of a cup. So great, I mean, the message is pretty clear here. And that will be that uh, things, um, the way that they are supposed to develop, they are going to develop themselves on their own accord. Now, what is important here uh, to be acknowledged in regards to that reading is not to take the initiative. Now, this is how the Emperor stands in generally in this particular reading as it stands into the second position. It pretty much means that the more control and the more initiative you do try to exert in your situation with your person of interest with your beloved one or in generally to initiate love in the world the worse the things are going to become for reason being it is that we do have the two of swords and the world here from each side of the emperor that pretty much points that you have already signed up for something and it's coming for you all right for better or worse and for what it seems with reading is rather for the better but the bottom line is that the more you try to enforce your will, if I may say it that way, um, in generally the worse the circumstances around whatever you have signed for are going to be. So for that reason, you Virgo should just patiently wait uh, for the thing to come. Now, a few examples in order to uh, give you a better idea of uh, what I'm talking about here. Uh, one good example it would be for those who are uh, pretty much single and that reading pretty much speaks that you have already caught the eye of somebody, all right? And you don't have to do anything more. In fact, the more you do, the more you try to catch even more their eye, the more you are discouraging them to make a move, okay? So it's just, you know, I usually do not advise people to do that. But in your case, it will be better to sit at your couch. Just saying. Another thing about, uh, especially those that are in already established relationship and marriages, it is that you have to pass the initiative to, to your beloved one, say that way. And whatever decisions you have to make or, or you are contemplating on making because for what it seems with reading here, you don't have to make any decision whatsoever. You may contemplate of making it. You may feel like with your back against the wall to do it so, but that is just an imaginary feeling uh, according to the reading itself. So it will be best to sit around and just wait for right now. Any decision is kind of like anybody's guess or the right decision is any anybody's guess and as you do wait, the obvious right choice, or rather like the right choice, the right decision for you is going to become pretty obvious. And um, the last card that we do have in this reading, which is the Knights of Eight Cups, um, that pretty much describes the end of the cycle or the end of the week for you. 
uh, and it has a different interpretation depending on are you in a relationship or are you not in a relationship or well, for those who are in a relationship uh, the card pretty much signifies that regardless how things unfold for whatever you have signed for here uh, you are gonna like it I mean it will it will seem like things are developing the way you you would love them to develop that's the bottom line of the uh, of the knights of cups in a sense of that uh, it's pretty much that thing is going to get you one step closer to what you want and those who are not in a relationship uh, knights of uh, knights of uh, cups excuse me so knights of cups obviously it's an, an approach here for knights of cups especially for those that are single or they do have the question of you you know for example what does he or she feels for me uh, knights of cups stands for the feeling of the dream of one's heart meaning that you know you caught the eye of somebody or that's pretty much sees sees only you as your potential partner for now Okay, because next week things can change. So while you don't have to do anything throughout the week, while you don't have to uh, seize the initiative, now as this person reveals, maybe it will be best to play along with uh, with the game that it will going to develop in between you two. So that was your uh, love uh, potential throughout uh, this upcoming week. Virgo, and uh, let's uh, shuffle the cards and see what kind of things you're going to do in term of a uh, in term of a business. Business and career. Right, so first one, in terms of your business, wow, look at that, guys. I mean, you couldn't start any better in terms of business when you do have the magician. Now, that is fantastic, especially if you are just starting, okay? If you are just walking into a new job, if you are just establishing a business. Uh, so we do have the magician uh, followed by the emperor once again into the second position here That's not of a uh, good contribution to the magician, but the justice kind of like a Balance things out and the last one that we do have for you. Wow. Look at that. I mean, we do have a four major arcana That will be definitely a, a big week and unfortunately um, Looking at those cards you pretty much have to play a fool and that will serve you for to a great extent um i could almost i i always almost have to say that you have to do what you have been told so pretty much what the reading here talks about is that uh, this week is going to be a week where you are going to gain or kind of like exert or establish maybe it's the right word that you should use a huge sovereignty and as well you're gonna show capability uh, however uh, that will happen by you I don't know how to describe it really guys so I'll try to approach it from a different perspective um, it's about overpowering somebody or in an organization or a company or a firm it's about you overpowering that structure but you're not gonna overpower it with a brute force you're just gonna overpowering it by um, showing your um, overqualification so to speak so it happens like that instead of taking the initiative and uh, instead of taking the initiative and taking the responsibilities on your shoulders it will be best if you allow somebody else to make the tough calls okay and then when the crisis emerges then you do fix whatever they have broken and that way you do shine as better as they are something like placing a, a person that you do want to subjugate in terms of business in a in a state where you are saying i told you so that my way was a better way 
that that particular states will leave them uh, with no arguments whatsoever. They will have no grounds to dis to dispute you, whomever they are. It could be your boss, supervisor, or a company that you are facing, regardless, or a client that j just simply wanted stupid things. You start doing those stupid things they have wanted and requested. It's because they have money. They see that things are not exactly as they have imagined it, and you say, "I told you so." Now, can we please do it? the right way, I mean my way, the right way. And that way you are not just only going to overpower that institution for a short period of time, but you are also gonna earn a great amount of respect. So, and instead of being a, a follower, you are going to be followed by them, okay? So uh, it's kind of like a raising tremendously throughout this week in the, uh, in the ladder of the hierarchy, if you will. But a lot has to be done. Uh, we do have the justice here that stands into the third position and this card is marvelous having it in terms of a career. First thing that it speaks is that you're gonna have a lot of a work, a lot of responsibilities that you need to undertake on its own accord, let alone that if you do take uh, as well the initiative to overwhelm yourself with another with even more responsibilities. That's why you gotta leave people to do whatever they they are supposed to do, even if that thing kind of like reeks of making errors and making mistakes. And with the justice as well, um, obviously people are going to pretty much get whatever they deserve. That's in, that includes you. So if you do not involve yourself into shady schemes, if you do not kind of like mess around with someone else's job, your job is not going to be messed around. But uh, the positive trait of justice, as it stands in the third position, it pretty much speaks that um, you will have the astute discernment of what is important and how to do it. Not just only that, but uh, also you will have a keen eye of making snap decisions here and there uh, in the right moment at the right, um, at the right time. And uh, that will bring even more opportunities, as we can see at the end of the week, that is the Wheel of Fortune. And the uh, Wheel of Fortune pretty much stands for, uh, in either case, either career or either relationship, it's bigger, it's, it's bigger interpretation or manifestation. It is a, uh, a circumstance, something that happens out of luck, that it's a, a prerequisite for once in a lifetime change. And usually in career, it stands as a uh, either an offering, you know, or a breakthrough or a position that was not meant for you originally. I mean, not by the universe, but by the institution. Say your boss meant that position for a colleague of yours. That colleague messed up really bad and you have to clean up that mess. So you show yourself much more capable and the position swapped from that colleague to you. Those that are looking for a job, um, it is a fantastic week for you as well to get a really, really, really good job. But you need to know that the um, the regiment and as well the, uh, the lead, or how do you say it? Um, your boss, how, how do you say it in English? You know, the the cluster of people that are commanding you around, you know, they are going to be a bit tyrannical and they will demand a lot, but nothing you cannot face. I mean, you will live up to their demands. So that being said, um, Virgo, that was your weekly general tarot readings, guys. Hopefully you do like them and you do enjoy them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.